Hi there. I'm Tom, the founder of BirdBrain Technologies, which is a company in Pittsburgh devoted to inspiring deep and joyful learning for all students through creative robotics. And today I want to share with you a project that we've been making here at BirdBrain called Remote Robots, which are robots that can be programmed anywhere over the internet. And I'd like to teach you how to make your own remote robot. So uh, to learn about remote robots, first go to this website. So that's birdbraintechnologies.com slash remote robots. And here you can see several robots that I have set up in my house that you can program right now. So like the dragon, the gnome, uh, the LB, the twonky, and the city. And then on this page, there's also a link to make uh, your own remote robot. So you'll want to click on that link. And what you'll need to make a remote robot is a Hummingbird Robotics Kit, which is the kit that my company makes. So here it is. This is the premium kit. It has a microcontroller, um, servos, LED lights, motors, uh, sensors. And kids typically use these to make robots out of arts and crafts materials. So in the, in the videos that follow, we'll show you how to make this little little guy, little robot, um, programmable over the internet. The other things you'll need are a Windows or Mac laptop. Um, we can also probably support Chromebooks, so if you're interested in that, let me know uh, at tom at birdbraintechnologies.com. And then you'll need, obviously, to have a webcam so that somebody working remotely can view the robot. Um, Finally, depending on how you want to use the robot, if you want to use it in a class, um, it's very easy to just send the students a link to program the robots, and then they can watch uh, via Zoom or some other video chat as the robot is programmed. You can also set up these robots and just have them running continually and create a 24-7 live stream. To, um, to basically have the robots available at all times for anybody to program. Um, so there's, there's kind of great uses for these. Um, I really think that it's a way to reach students who currently don't have access to a robotics kit, who might still want to program something that is real and not simulated. Um, so I'd love for many of you to try to build your own. Um, so the next two videos, I'm going to cover how to make a remote robot using Hummingbird and the Nuts Blocks programming environment. And then in the last video, I'll talk about some of the considerations if you want to specifically make your robot uh, accessible via 24-7 live stream. So uh, I hope you enjoy this project. I hope it's fun for you to make one. Um, and uh, good luck, and hope you enjoy the next few videos.